Hey friends, today we are back at San Diego Comic-Con 2022 and we have an incredible lineup of things that we get to do today. Disney Plus invited us out to check out their really cool pop-up and then American Horror Story has a special haunted like walkthrough that we're going to go explore and then later on tonight we are going to a Tim Burton bash, a party for the recently deceased and I am so excited for that. So we're going to hang out at San Diego Comic-Con and just have a beautiful day. Anywho's, let's go do this. First things first, I think we're going to head into the convention center itself, check out a couple of boots over in the D hall, and then just explore around. Most of the events that I was talking about are actually on the outside of the convention center, and they are really cool. That's how everything is at San Diego Comic-Con. It's not just inside here. It's like a whole entire city just full of amazing things and opportunities. The Tim Burton after party tonight is something I am so excited for. I love everything Tim Burton. And to be able to go to like a party where everything's gonna be themed like Tim Burton, like things like Nightmare Before Christmas and Beetlejuice, that's like a dream come true. And uh, that's gonna be a little bit later on, but we're gonna have a lot of stuff to do in between then. One of the things I noticed different from the first day is there are a lot more people cosplaying today. Like it is so amazing. Like I thought yesterday was great, but some of the things I saw just walking in here is blowing my mind. So we're gonna point out a lot of that and just explore some things that we didn't check out on the first day. Like I said in the first video, uh, San Diego Comic-Con is requiring everyone to wear a mask and also show proof of vaccination, which I already did yesterday. They give you a little bracelet. So I'm going to be wearing a mask as I'm roaming around inside the convention hall, but I'll be coming in and out getting some air. And also, Ozzy Osbourne just walked past me. How awesome is that? He's doing a signing here, and he has like thousands of people surrounding him. And I think we're going to go try to see if we can get another closer look, but he walked past me. He was like 10 feet away. So I think we're going to try to go see if we can get another look at him because that's awesome. It's Ozzy. This is absolutely so awesome. Ozzy Osbourne is just right back there. Look at that. Signing autographs. I feel so honored. I can't believe I got that close to Ozzy Osbourne again. Like I'm telling you, I think he has more security than the president and I wish I could have got an autograph. I was this close. I was literally like two feet from him. I was this close, but he's done for the day. He must have signed maybe, I would say like at least like 5,000 posters. That is crazy. What a way to start the day. All right, now we're gonna make our way over to some boots here in the D Hall. Like, uh, now I'm kind of just like so excited because Ozzy Osbourne, but I wanna stop at the Roosevelt's booth because they uh, actually had me out here promoting some of their shirts. And then there's another Disney Plus booth in here. A very interesting, uh, like $100,000 baby Grogu that is pretty amazing that I'm gonna try to find. I don't not, I'm not too sure where it's at, but there's a lot of Deadpools, like a lot. Yesterday's video was my first time ever being at San Diego Comic-Con and I was very overwhelmed I didn't know where to go or what to do today I have a much better grasp on things that I want to get accomplished and a little bit of agenda and also my mask is a little bit small My beard is kind of sticking out the bottom here. It looks funny, doesn't it? I haven't like vlogged with a mask like this in a while and I forget what it's like a quick stop to the Roosevelt booth so I can show you guys the exclusive of the day. They uh, have new exclusive shirts every single day. Yesterday I showed you the uh, Tatooine one, but today we have this one. I'm going to slide in real quick. You got it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then I'm wearing tomorrow's shirt right now, and that's the Rancor, and that one's really cool. And then Sunday is the Boba one. That was the one I wore the first day. Very, very popular. They've been selling out. This one sold out by 11 a.m. yesterday. The Roosevelt booth has been so much fun. It's been busy all day. I was actually there all morning just hanging out. Uh, helping the guys out. The crew is fantastic and uh, just meeting a lot of people that get to come up and say hi. So it's been really, really fun. I made my way over to the Marvel booth and they have so many amazing things out right now. They have the Infinity Gauntlet right here. You got a little Spider-Man over there. And then check out these costumes up here. I love this. Agatha, 
They have Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, Miss Marvel. This is so, I mean, it's so well put together. And they're gonna be having different signings. I know the uh, creator of Deadpool was actually signing here the other day. It's really, really awesome. Wow, take a look at this. That is awesome. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> I love it. You got my pick right here. This is my favorite, I feel like. That was so awesome. Her cosplay was phenomenal. She had two different settings on it, and she asked me to take a photo or a video of her because everybody's coming up to her like, hey, can I have a photo or a video? But she was by herself, so nobody took a video. She didn't have a video of herself, so I recorded it for her, and she said, thank you, you kind Hufflepuff. She knew my house, and I thought that was amazing. Now we've made our way down to the end area. This is in the A section. And look at this, I found a Disney pin store. And they have a lot, look at this. I don't know if they have any super rare ones. Oh, they definitely do. Look at this, this is really, really cool. I wasn't expecting to find Disney pins here, but it just proves that there's basically everything at Comic-Con. Look at this, a little haunted mansion. I love it. Oh, very, very cool. Oh, this is the best. Thank you guys so much. This is the best uh, Disney parks like like thing I've seen actually here at the, the, the I, I love it. It is very well put together. You guys are amazing. People come out of the woodwork when they see us. Yep, I get so excited. First some Disney pins, then some Haunted Mansion cosplay. This is great. I'm so happy I'm catching all this stuff. Wow, holy moly, look at this life-size panels right here with the Infinity Gauntlet. That is so awesome. Ooh, they also have all the motor over there too. Might have to go take a peek, see. This is a really cool booth. Now I'm exploring a lot more areas of the convention that I really didn't get to see yesterday. And it's like amazing. It's like a big eye opener. Oh, hi. I love that. <laughs> One of the biggest things people are lining up for this year is this gigantic Lego Bowser. And it actually does something cool if you uh, see it on the screen here. That is so cool. That Bowser was absolutely incredible. It was so cool what they were doing there. The line was super long. I, one thing I noticed, that there are a lot of dedicated people just waiting in lines whenever they come to San Diego Comic-Con because they're really amazing experience. But now I think we're gonna head over to the Hilton, I think Bayside, and that's where we're gonna do the special Disney Plus like pop-up and the American Horror Story like walkthrough area. That's gonna be like really fun and I'm kind of really intrigued to see what it's like. I ran into my friend, and take a look at this, Mando Loki. That's what we're doing, right? Mando Loki, I love it. This is really cool. What Now, what, what, what color is the lightsaber? We need to know. Is it? I was gonna say, I was like, hey, well. <laughs> oh, yep, that's the way. That is the way. Ah, 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 I love it. Oh, well, thanks, enjoy Comic-Con. <laughs> hey, but there's Mando. Oh, there's Mando himself, look at that. Oh, this is too good. And Ray, you guys make the perfect combination. This is, I like this, you guys did great. <laughs> Who would have ever thought a Mando Loki would be such an amazing like cosplay? I loved it, two of my favorite shows, and she pulled it off perfectly. The green lightsaber, you couldn't, you couldn't do anything better than that right there. That might win, I don't know, it's so hard. I always keep on saying I'm gonna pick my favorite cosplay, but I kind of loved them all. And here it is, Hall H. And a little update, I was able to actually go inside. I got to go to the Walking Dead panel, and then also I got to see Keanu Reeves, but I wasn't able to show you guys. The, they don't allow filming in there, and you actually have to go through metal detectors. It's kind of a big process, but I wanted to show you, I did get like a return thing, because I stepped out, and it's really cool. I'm gonna keep this as my little souvenir, but this is from The Walking Dead. Isn't that awesome? AMC's Tales of the Walking Dead. And it actually has a little zombie on the back. That's nifty. <laughs> oh, and now Spider-Man's trying to lift up uh, the mighty Thor's hammer. <laughs> Get some push-ups. There we go, some push-ups. Okay. I'm gonna lift this hammer. I'm gonna prove to every one of you that I am the mightiest Avenger there is. 
Believe in you, Peter. I'm meeting up with my friend Kevin who is another uh, vlogger from Florida and it's really cool when you get to meet like somebody from back home and we're gonna head on over and do the walking uh, not the walking dead the uh, American horror story experience together and it's gonna be nice so like I said I got a friend from back in Florida to hang out here at San Diego here we are we made it over to the Hilton one park Boulevard and I am so excited look at this oh look at peach right there but that's the whole entire like walking not walking I keep on saying walking dead but the American Horror Stories special effects uh, room that is so awesome the really cool thing about all of this is it doesn't cost a thing anybody can come do it and you don't need to buy a ticket to San Diego comic-con if you're in the area you can just literally walk up here and go to this like it's just free come come as all you want First, I think we're gonna head into the Disney Plus area. This seems really, really interesting. I'm not even sure what to expect. I mean, they have a lot going on here. This is the Bundle Works Factory. So, yeah, this is really, really, like, interesting. It's a bundle town, and it's a game. And it's all of our, like, favorite things from Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. And we're actually gonna play it and win some prizes. And they actually put little balls in the pipeline. Oh, and also I ran into uh, my friends Peter and Kitra, Ordinary Adventures, along with Kevin. This is really cool. You actually just go around, play a bunch of different games, and you save the tickets to get points. All right, I think I'll take a spin on the Wonder Wall. All right, want I just spin it? It's a big wheel. Should I start high? Like that? All right, here it goes. It's spinning. What do I need? I need an eight. An eight. Stop right there. Three tickets. Thank you. You're doing great. There, there we go. go. There we go. Awesome. I'm not choosing you on my cornhole team. No. <laughs> Oh! That's all I have to do. One. Okay. There you go. Went in. See if you can do overhand. I think I did good. You did better than Ketra. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now it's time for the power of Plinko, and I like to do it all at once. So we're gonna go like this, and just see how it goes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, five, three, two. Not too shabby. I'm doing good. Right, do you know how many tickets you have? No, I didn't well, count, right, them. count them. All right. Do you guys want to combine your tickets or are we just doing more time? Yep. Okay, okay. I'm excited. It looks like we got a lot of good stuff here. We got a hockey stick, Hulu straws. Hulu straws? <laughs> Doesn't that sound funny? Hulu straws. <laughs> Hulu straws. <laughs> How awesome was that? Everyone chipped in their tickets to give them to me and I got myself a nice powered Hulu fan and a lunchbox. I'm feeling really fancy. Now it's time to get a slushy, And then we're gonna do the haunted attraction for uh, American Horror Story and then a walkthrough of uh, ABC uh, TV show. Like we're gonna walk through the set itself. Here it is. We're heading in, going into a little movie set behind the scenes. Now we're gonna do one of those really fancy photo opportunities in front of a school bus and I've always wanted to do one and I was kind of afraid how it would turn out but it's pretty amazing. I'm gonna insert it now for you guys but look at that. I've always wanted to do a photo like that and it actually came out awesome. I loved it. And it was cool, I got to cheers with Peter. Very, very fun. I'd definitely do one again. Here we go. Back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Pull the lever. Ah, Pull the lever, Crunk. <laughs> What happened? Did you break it? Wait, did I scare you? I'm sorry. Siemens! I didn't mean to Look at that! You. Brought to you by Siemens. Very fancy. Spaceship Earth. Yeah! 
This is really like a whole entire uh, elementary school. Went through the gym, the locker, the principal's office, then into the classroom. All right, we have to get our uh, photo taken for our security badges. There you go. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? I love this. <laughs> now that we got our badges, we can head into school here, into the class. You can take the quiz to see which teacher you are. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fancy. Yeah. Look yeah. at this. Let me know if you want me to take it. It's a like a whole in entire classroom in here. This is really, really interesting. Now that we got all of our stuff from Abbott Elementary, it's time for the thing I've been very excited for, and that is to go through the little haunted walkthrough for America Horror Story in the garden. And there's gonna be some live actors in there, and it's gonna be really, it's gonna be scary. It looks scary. Oh, well, here it is. FX, Fearless. Now we're going to the FX area. We're ready? Oh boy. Do you want a picture behind it? Oh no, it's alright. Okay. Go ahead. I don't want to I'm like, oh. Camera. Oh, we're just walking through. Yeah. The garden. You got a gardener. Look at all these creepy hands as you're walking through the garden here. There's like a bunch of hands. come to a little dollhouse area and a bunch of dolls in the this has got to be really creepy at night like I, I I'm thinking about it more and more now I'm like holy moly much, I don't know how worth it that event for Tim Burton is but it's really cool at night oh but it's Tim Burton wow it's supposed to be a representation of the rubber man um, which is from the first season the rubber man yeah. I don't know if it's gonna do anything Ooh. Ooh. It makes real feelings on your feet. You guys can make a wish. I wish for this. Help! Okay, I'm out here. <laughs> make a wish. I wish for help! Hi. Come on in. Come meet our help. Oh my god. Come meet Holt here. Hi, how are you? Thank you. I am very excited for this season of American Horror Story. Even though I keep on wanting to call it The Walking Dead, I got Walking Dead on my mind. But, I mean, that was actually really entertaining. And the scare actors are great. Now I think we're gonna do, what's this next one? Oh yeah, what we do in the shadows. A lot of this is gonna look a lot better at night, but I'm excited we're about to head into a little nightclub and do one of those fancy photos. Strobe light, laser, smoke, and fog. Everything I love. I'm excited. Ooh, an SPF 30. Ooh, I thought this was hand sanitizer. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I, th I thought this was the new American Horror Story, not the freak show with the clown makeup. <laughs> I, I put it all over my face and go away. I look like a clown. I feel like I need to match them to make them feel better. <laughs> oh my god! It's on the glasses. Oh no! The sweat doesn't help. <laughs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, I feel great. I feel protected. That's important. That is important. 
They gave us some mints. No more bat breath. Th okay. Does everyone say the same? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Peter, you, you need one. I need two today. This is the start of a fun night. We're about to go into the club. We're about Not to take all one. our mints. Ready? <laughs> one, two, three. I'm not sure if I got all of the sunblock out of my beard yet. I, I'm pretty sure, but well, like I said, this is one of those things where it spins round and round around you. It's like a nightclub, and I like it. And I'm excited to see how it comes out. I might be able to put it in the video for you guys. Is that a Botox sign? What? There's a Botox sign flying above us. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's time. Oh, look what we do in the shadows. Can you your bag over there? Ooh! We're gonna watch you do it. Oh, can you hold my camera yes. then? Nice. I'm not the best, uh... Oh, it's going already? Okay. Oh, yeah. If you guys are on the side, make sure you're dancing. Okay. Do you want me to hold yours too? Through those? Yeah, go ahead. Oh boy. This really messes with my perception here. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was really awesome. It was great to hang out with Peter, Kitra, and Kevin, and then run into my friend, Cool Duder. I'll put all of their links in the description. You guys check them out. Now I have to get back and head to the hotel, and we're gonna get ready for the Tim Burton party. I ran into my good friend, Cool Duder. Yes, Look at this. Yes. You know, I, I've uh, been watching your videos for a while, and it's really great to actually meet you in person, man. And you've been on some of my live streams, too. I always yeah. like to talk to you on there. You come on there, and I'm like, oh, is that really Paige and Mr. Morrow? Yeah. And I told you, I got you to do that the time is. I did, I mean, on I, his video. Yes, so you gotta was, watch his video. Anyone that watches Paige and Mr. Morrow will remember, the very early videos, you always announce the time. Yep. My favorite one was when you went into the Harry Potter room, and then everyone's in there eating. Remember that? Uh, and, and everyone was all eating there in the restaurant. Oh, and they, they, like, yeah, oh, everyone all stopped. Of a sudden, they stopped. Yeah. And someone's like, what is happening here? Yep. That was the best one ever. Oh, <laughs> man. That, yes. Thank you so much. That brings yes. up great good memories. Yes. <laughs> well, guys, definitely check me out on Cool Duder and you guys can see my videos. I did a tour video going around and Nate makes an appearance in it. He actually ends the tour video. There we go. Yeah, at the end of the video. Oh, well, Thanks, nice guys. seeing you, man. Nice, nice seeing you. Again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to head back to my hotel my favorite way. Look at how beautiful this is. And also, this is all the people lining up for uh, Hall uh, H tomorrow. Oh, wow. I love this. This is so nice out. I absolutely love walking around the streets of San Diego, especially during Comic Con. This is like so bumping. Like, it's a really good time. It's a party central. And before we make our way over to uh, the Tim Burton, uh, bar. I think we're gonna go up to one of these rooftop lounges all the way up. Go all the way up for some drinks and uh, a very nice view. Well, this is definitely probably the best view I have ever seen. Just look at this. I am, I can just stand here forever. It is so amazing. Wow. What a, what a great time I'm having. Seriously, it is such an amazing view. 
I never like just could have dreamed that San Diego was like this. I'm so lucky that I'm able to be here. And you can see all of the convention center. You can see the uh, baseball stadium. It's just gorgeous. Right there is San Diego's baseball stadium. And then right over here where you see this big line here, this is all of San Diego Comic-Con. That's the convention center. And just look out, like the water, the bridge right there. It's beautiful. The Sky Top Lounge was absolutely amazing. It was so cool getting that beautiful view and I was kind of just relaxing and chilling and now we're gonna head over to the uh, Tim Burton bash and I'm excited. Look, actually the little cabbies that were driving by with the neon lights, they're going again. I love it. Here is just a little glimpse of what it's like nighttime San Diego Comic Con on the streets. Intense. Very intense. Very intense. Very I like it. <laughs> and here we go. We have made it. San Diego Comic Con, the Burton Bash. A party for the recently deceased. I am so pumped for this, and we're going VIP. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I am obsessed. Like, this is just so amazing. And all of the cost. Oh, is that Oogie Boogie? Oh, my lord, you look fantastic. I love it. Wow. This is sick. Oh, wow. The penguin? This is something else. This is something else, I say. Much too good. Look at a handbook for the recently deceased up there. Wow. I'm loving life right now. Everywhere I turn, I just gotta say. Alright, here we go. You guys are gonna get mind blown in a second here. Oh my lord! I love this so much. This is absolutely amazing. Look at the boots! Look at this! Wow! I had to actually come upstairs for a bit because I don't know how much I can film in here because of all the music and copyright issues and also it's very loud but it is so fun and I love it. I mean this is really amazing. I love these San Diego Comic Con parties and it's like the best thing. The amount of Beetlejuice in this room is just making me so happy. It is unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally my perfect atmosphere. And I don't know if I'm loud or if I'm just yelling over the music, but it's great. And take a look at this. They have airbrush tattoos for everybody and it's all Tim Burton themed. I love it. They've got Willy Wonka, they've got Nightmare Before Christmas, Beetlejuice, everything this is so amazing and with that i think we are done here today the tim burton bash was fantastic it was so cool being in there i love everything that has to do with san diego comic-con i'm definitely coming back next year and this has been a phenomenal trip i am just so happy and blessed to be able to come out here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye